Hello, this is the second part of the CompareDocs uh, quick user guide. So for this part, we're going to look at a few different file formats and the outputs and reports that we can get with those. So uh, I'm going to start with taking a couple of PDF documents and uh, I'm going to take that into Word and as a red line. So I'm just going to compare and open as a new document. So we'll uh, bring up this conversion method. Uh, we can just click OK um, because it will automatically select the uh, the preferred option. Um, if it needs to OCR it, it will. Uh, you can set it to manually do this and override it to make it OCR if you need to. But I would always recommend just going with the, uh, the default that CompareDoc selects for you. So just click OK. So uh, it will just start processing those PDFs, uh, do the comparison, and then open that up into Word. So we can see here we have the document and we have our standard red line formatting. Uh, so there we go. So that's a PDF and PDF to Word. So we can close that down. Next, uh, we'll look at something slightly different and we'll look at a couple of Excel files. Uh, so we can see here we actually get an extra option so we can do it natively in Excel and also Word and PDF. We'll look at a couple of different ways here. So first off, uh, we'll just go for PDF and we can see here it brings up a few different options of report type. Well, for this one, we'll go for side by side marked up with annotations and the rendering set automatically changes to highlighting, which is uh, what we want for this. So we'll do this as a new document and then we'll open up, create a new PDF with the uh, the comparison. And uh, as we can see here, let's just uh, zoom in a little bit here. So as you can see here, we get a side by side comparison and the highlighting for all of the changes within this uh, Excel to Excel files. So here when we hover over, we get the, uh, the figures that are uh, been changed to so it's just nice and easy to see that at a very quick glance what's changed between the two files I so we can also do this into Excel so uh, let's just select Excel for this and this will be done natively um, so we don't get to choose any report types or rendering sets uh, what it will do is it'll open up the two files in Excel along with a uh, set of views that uh, will line up for this so as we can see we have the original on the left here the modified on the right a list of all the uh, the changes and then just a legend for the, uh, the cell colors and then a graphical uh, representation of the changes if I click on uh, the cell set of changed it'll highlight it in the uh, in the modified and we can just go through that and see those all so just uh, nice and easy to see if you uh, prefer to get into a little bit more detail with Excel files so we'll close that now and uh, we'll look at a, uh, a different file format so this time let's go for a couple of PowerPoint presentations so again we get the option to compare natively uh, into PowerPoint and we can also do the side by side. So similar to Excel, we'll go for the side by side report with annotations, showing the highlighting. As I think this is uh, probably the uh, the easiest way to view uh, PowerPoints uh, that you want to compare. So sit there, they will then convert those uh, the comparison, and put that into a side by side PDF. And we can see here with the highlighting, we can just roll over and, and it will show up in the comments box what's been changed there. So that's their side-by-side -side report for PowerPoint. And that's uh, the end of uh, this quick user guide. Uh, I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much.